kicked Adrian out again. The <laughs> lovely lady Laura is here. What are you cooking for me today? Today we are doing a zucchini and macaroni pasta slice. We're just going to grate it basically. Um, squeeze out some moisture. I've got ricotta, macaroni. Uh, mix it all together with some eggs, pop it in the oven, and there's the easiest dinner ever. So, Laura, should I get grating? Yes, please. So, there's four zucchini. I'll leave that to you. Not and a then problem. I will pop the um, pasta, that pasta straight so into... that's macaroni yeah. pasta. Yeah. So, originally, macaroni and cheese, I think, is what everyone would know this type of pasta for. And it's why I'm glad Adrian isn't here, because he will be putting the cream in it, the cheese in it, the, the butter, meat loves salt, salt loves meat, bacon, you <laughs> name it, it's in there. But no, we've gone zucchini and ricotta. Now, I was saying that I love the zucchini, and that is for a reason, because it is very much high in fibre, but very low in calorie. So it will oh, keep gosh. you very, very full. So I think this bake is going to keep I us going it. till dinner time. I'm learning about zucchinis. Yeah, and I'm the things I didn't I'm know. learning about pasta. I love it. <laughs> so um, this will take eight minutes to cook, but we will leave it, uh, take out just a few minutes before because it is going to go into the oven, so it will continue to cook. So we want it just, al dente. We sure do, yeah. That's nothing over. like it. I'm going to add a little bit of salt just into the bowl while you're going. Now, we do salt for a reason, don't we, as yeah. well? So, obviously, like, you are extracting some flavour, but obviously salt is going to help draw out the moisture. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll leave that for about five minutes and we can finish off the dish. Great, can't wait. Right, so the pasta is done. I'm going to uh, drain this off because we don't want the water from it. Of course not. For the purpose of this. But while I'm doing this, I reckon if you want to start squeezing that moisture... OK, so if the salt hasn't out. got everything, what we want to do is just squeeze Beautiful. out that excess. Right, so we've got some ricotta we can add straight into our bowl. Beautiful. All right, so I like ricotta, OK, because it has, it's still got the fats in it, OK, yeah. but it is a little bit one of the um, better choices and it's full of calcium, it if is. you and didn't it's know. so delicious. And then you can crack in um, five free-range eggs. Done. A bit of olive oil. So this really is quite a protein-rich little feast, isn't it? Yeah, I think, as we said before, you could have it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, afternoon tea. Like, it's very versatile. Mm. Um, and you could add whatever you want to it. So you could do a different pasta shape. You could use add some more veggies in there, add some pumpkin even. Like and we'll keep OK in the In fridge? the fridge, yeah, for a few days. Um, but I think it'd be gone after a day or two. Oh, uh, so yeah, delicious. of course. Yeah, of course. Beautiful. All right, so there if you want to give that a mix for me. No problem. So just like, incorporate it all together. And then I'm going to pour the pasta in. So it's actually a little bit of a, a one bowl dish, really. Yeah. I mean, we cooked that pasta, but it's all happening just in here. It smells good. Yum, it does. Beautiful. Is that how we want it? Yeah, perfect. All right. right. So we've got a um, tray that we've lined with some baking paper. We certainly do. Just so it's easier to either pull out the baking paper sheet when you're done or just flip it out. But we can pour it straight in. Now, this is quite heavy. My guns are OK, but I um, can I'll, you pour for yeah, me. Why not? OK. Beautiful. Without dirtying our nice Gorgeous. tops. Gorgeous. There you go. All right, nice. And then just give it a good shake and a bang. So what have we got the oven on? Uh, so 180 degrees yes. and we're going to bake it for about 30 to 40 minutes or just until it's set, the egg's not wobbling mm -hmm. and it's nice and golden on top. Perfect. Lovely. Yum. Looks fantastic, it smells does. fantastic. I want to have a little try. Oh, I hope it tastes good. Of course it will. <laughs> of course it will. So what I'm going to do is just cut a few little slices. Beautiful. So of course you can just make this as big a portion as you possibly want. And you can have it hot or cold, which is really good. You could serve it as a cocktail food, or like a little canapé with a little Ooh, toothpick in Oh, that's a nice it. idea, you know, isn't it? Excuse fingers right That's right, there. you're all good. I'm going to do two We're little friends slices. Here. We are, aren't we? <laughs> two little slices Beautiful. there. Just like that. So we've got Yum. a little salad here as well. Yeah. Yum. A little bit of that just on Beautiful. here. Beautiful. You can dress it with a bit of olive oil. Oh, yes, please. Get that on there. Now I've got a little knife and fork. Beautiful. Thank you ever so much for coming into the kitchen and showing me this one. I want to see what pleasure. you have done with that macaroni, as I'm not a usual eater of macaroni, so I want to have a little go. go. Enjoy. You know, I wasn't sure about if I was still going to be able to taste that ricotta. But I can It's delicious. It's such an interesting way of using macaroni. I wouldn't have thought of um, doing it that way. 
And with the egg and the zucchini, we've just raised that nutritional profile. This is a fantastic complete meal or a perfect little protein-rich snack.